everybody uniquely lady charlotte again and i'm still doing uber i'm out here it is about 6 10 maybe 6 11 and i'm still doing uber i did catch a ride from the airport charlotte airport to concord and then i said i was gonna go home because i let him off right down the street from my house but i got another ding 15 minutes away it said premium you know premium possible but I don't know. Sometimes they say that to get you to go out there and then they only go down the street. But it seems like they make it up by giving you a longer trip. So I'll see. Um, let me go with part two of my day from yesterday. You know, how it got, you know, how it was just ugly yesterday. It was just ugly. It wasn't bad as some, but it was still ugly. So now we're in the interview. And um, the lady basically tells me that I'm overqualified for the job. She had just pulled my app, my resume this mor that morning. So, but I talked to her the day before and she asked me to send her my resume and I did, but she pulled it the next day, the day of my interview, just not, you know, long before my interview. So then when I get there and she gets there, she's like, yeah, I looked at your resume this morning and I'm thinking, you're just now looking at it. So it's all right, it's all right. So uh, I said, yes. She said, and I'm gonna just be honest with you. I'm going to skip a whole bunch of stuff. She said, because she stopped interviewing me during the interview. She just kind of quit. She said, I'm going to be honest with you. You are overqualified for this position. I said, well, what is the position exactly? I know it's driving, but driving what? And she explained the different things. Like, you know, um, like they have dispatches for the helicopter, the ambulance, and um, some other things. And then they have the... Um, the patient transporters. So I'm like, okay, so what, what what do they do? She said, well, that's where they go on the golf cart and they go from the front door to the parking lot, from the parking lot to the front door. I'm thinking to myself, they work outside all day? It wasn't even all day. It was from 7.30 to 12.30. I said, wow, okay, okay. Um, in my head. I'm like, and I'm listening, looking at her and listening and she goes through this whole spiel about, you know, what it pays and I'm like, okay. And she tells me it's an outside position and you just shuttle back and forth from 7.30 in the morning to 12.30. And then somebody else comes in and shuttles the rest of the evening until like 9.30. So I said, okay. So then she just looked at me. After she explained all that, she just looked at me. And I said, it sounds interesting. She says, I'm just going to be real honest with you. I said, okay. I'm thinking to myself, I like honesty. I, that's how I prefer it. She said, you are overqualified for this job. I said, well, yes, I am. But at this time, I need a job. But remember now, I got something else I'm trying to get. And so far, it's going really well for that. But I'm just trying to not put all my eggs in one basket. So she said, I know that if I give you this job, it's not going to be challenging for you. You're going to be bored with it. And if something else comes along that, that's paying more than this, you're going to be gone. I said, well, I'm going to be honest with you. I will be gone. And so we kind of laughed a little bit. And so, but she, but, you know, I, but I was feeling kind of low on the inside a little bit because like, dang, I can't even get a job driving the golf cart. But that's not to say I don't have skills. I do. It's just... I don't know. I just wanted something for now. Yeah, I'm doing Uber and it paid about the same thing I make in Uber. But Uber has a lot more flexibility for me. I get to come and go as I please and start and stop when I want to and all of that. But she just, you know, she did encourage me. She was like, you know what? Don't give up. Don't give up. You know, keep trying. She's like, you have a wonderful resume. It's very, it's impeccable. And she said, you know, somebody would be crazy not to hire you, but you're worth a lot more than this. She said, you just have to believe that you are worth a lot more. And I'm thinking to myself, I know I am, but, you know, she just said it would be a waste of my time and your time for me to give you this. She said, you are worth way more than what I'm offering. So she said, but I want to keep your resume because there are other departments. And she said, sometimes we give you know another department a person's resume we can't use them we'll pass the resume on to to another department that we believe may you know may be able to so i said okay she said but i see you have dispatching experience so you know the hospital has 
um, a position where they dispatch, but they dispatch the helicopters and you know the medics and stuff. And I said, okay, that sounds great. That's what she told me. So I said, okay. So um, I told her I appreciate her time and everything. All right, so I left there, but I was feeling bad on the on the low end of the, of the spectrum because I kept playing in my head. I can't even get a job driving a golf cart. But that wasn't it at all. <laughs> Maybe that's not where God wants me. Maybe God is going to give me the job that I want. So, so, cause so far things are looking up or looking toward that way. You know, you know, we're heading in the right direction. But I just want to have a plan B in case that doesn't work out. Not that I'm doubting God. I just want to have a plan B in case that doesn't work out. So, um, so I got home and just kind of, you know. I, I said, well, let me just take off these clothes and just lay down and just relax. You know, I just wanted to put the cover over my head, like I said, and relax. So I said, well, let me take a shower. Well, I'm in the shower, and then I realized, I said, why is the room getting so foggy? Why is the bathroom fogging up? And why I can't see? I'm thinking my sugar hot. I had my glasses on in the shower. I was just so disgusted in myself. I just went ahead and took my shower and left my glasses on. They were too late then. They were wet and foggy. I just kept the dang on glasses on. And when I washed my face, I just lifted up my glasses, washed my face, and put my glasses back on. I had to laugh at myself. I said, well, self, we'll get it together tomorrow. Tomorrow will be a better day. So that brings us to today. Now, today, I've been doing great at Uber. Uber was really, really hot today. It was really busy. Most Uber drivers are down. I would imagine most. Most they're down at um at the Wells Fargo Championship Golf Tournament. I had one trip that went out that way from um, downtown Charlotte. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, Paul asthma. I feel an attack coming on. Plus, I cut off the air conditioner so I can talk to you guys. But um, I'm gonna need to cut that back on before I pass out. It ain't gonna do us no good if I pass out because the phone gonna go one way, my car gonna go another. So, um, so I've made some long trips today. I have, and I'm getting ready. I'm doing this last one. I got six more minutes before I get there. I'm doing this last one. But uh, the next video I'm going to bring to y'all, I'm going to talk about how I tried to make a deal with myself when I ate lunch today. I tried to rationalize with myself. I tried to trick myself when I ordered my food today. All right, so. Let me upload this one, and I'll be right back after I pick up my passenger and drop them off. All right, bye.